you know, a topic I wanted to touch on in this video. Let me just take that off. A topic I wanted to touch on in this video is is reading books the way out. And a lot of people in the self improvement space they really herald reading books as like the way out. Like if you read books, you really set yourself up for a good future. And I like I, and then I've been reading the books that everyone's been talking about: Atomic Habits, Millionaire Fast Lane, Four Hour Work Week. You know, um, the psychology Four Years of Power. The Psychology of Sales by Brian Tracy, that's what I was going to say, but they just, they're both psychology books, so it just fucked up my brain. I've been reading all these books in, not necessarily unison, but I've been reading them one by one by one, one, like taking each towel down, you know what I'm saying? And I have to admit the truth, like reading books is a very, very powerful way of like, oh yeah, Tao Te Ching, all the, all, the, all the books, right, by Lao Tzu. I've been reading all the books that are incredibly, incredibly popular within the self space, and I'm not even done yet. And when I do, when I'm finished, I'll, like, I'll come back to you then as well. A book I'm really looking forward to is Deep Work by Cal Newport. And right now I'm reading, reading Millionaire Fast Lane because I really, really like this book. So I just want to read what I like and what really relates to me. Um, I think that if you read, when it, when it comes to the question of is reading books the way out, my answer is if you read the right books, yes, it is the way out. If you have a particular problem, for example, you are broke and you read books about how to become rich and you apply the information within those books to become rich, then it's useful. But if I if I myself read books like Four Eight Laws of Power, like it serves, yeah, honestly, I think I think it serves zero purpose to me. I'm dead honest with you. And with the upcoming book that I, on my list, The Fiftieth Law by um, Fifty Cent and Robert Greene, I honestly doubt. I'm dead serious. I doubt it will help me. I'm I'm dead. I literally doubt it will help me. And with the Four Eight Laws of Power, it was hyped, it was heralded, it's banned in prisons and everything. Like, but it almost to me feels like common sense in some ways. I do understand. Like, I'm mean, the truth. It has affected me in many ways. Affected me in ways that I couldn't possibly imagine before. Like now, I'm seeing power dynamics at play. But and honestly, I don't give a fuck about power dynamics enough in order to like literally read considering this book. I probably will considering this book. I probably will rem memorize the laws of this book. But in all honesty, like I'm on page 175. I don't think I'm gonna go any further for a while. I might reach page 200 to reach halfway through the book because it's 400 pages. But I see zero purpose for it, and because I see zero purpose for it, I stop reading it. Is reading books the way out? I'm gonna be honest with you and say no. No, it's not the way out. You can have all the information in the world, but if you have no action, it's not the way out. Inaction breeds inaction, action breeds action. We already know this. If you don't have action as a like a, a basis, basic attack for yourself, like and people say, just one more day, just, just just one more week, one more thing, one more thing, and. Like, if you don't have hard work and action at the basis of yourself, like, uh, reading books, you can read all the books in the fucking world, you will not get anywhere in life. Reading books is not the way out. It is the way out and not the way out, but I'm leaning more to not the way out, because the majority of people in some room space, they, they circle jerk, and they feel as if they're doing something with their lives, when they just read a book of the book of the book of the book, we're taking no action. Even me, I was telling myself to start a business, start a YouTube channel, start streaming, I couldn't really tell, I started exercising. I got the, got the, uh, the habit tracker here. I trust this habit tracker more than myself because I, I, I see real time data in my, in my day. I want to measure my data. There's two months worth of habit tracking right here. Then really, I just do one, one line. It's not quick. It's not, it's not, it's not um, long. It's very quick. It's not, it's not particularly difficult. It's just a small thing. I can just see my data and see how often I do things. It's all based on honest. I, I, I fail a lot of the time. It's really on the pink. I don't, I don't highlight all the ticks because I know like I'm fucking I already focused on the failure because that's where I can see like, I don't see it as this oh I'm failing I'm failing like, I just like yeah I got fucking next month I got tomorrow I just I'm chill hey but this month I wasn't studying a lot I couldn't be studying my boxing I couldn't be studying more of the videos courses that I have like I haven't been studying enough I admit the truth yeah I haven't been studying enough today show as well I've not been studying yeah that's it that's my habit tracker like, I don't have my ego attached I just have Complete honesty. Like I see it. Like how do I say this? Something a bit more higher than me. Not really higher than me. It's like extra, almost. Like I, I put my trust in the system. Have track is one of the systems I put my trust in. I, I guess it's one of the other productive things I have. I, I probably will make a video. No, I, I think I will make a video. No, I will make a video. See my serious tone. <laughs> yeah, I will make a video. <laughs> I will make a video on habit tracking, and I think it's really helped me a lot in self improvement. I've been doing it for eight months, so I'm, when I effectively when I started self improvement is 
when I started hypertracking. That's when I started some group for real. It's been eight months of being in it. But honestly, I think that within this month, this is nine months, I need to like fucking ramp up my action like a dickhead. Like a dickhead. Like literally in my room all day, all my work on my laptop, flush through. On this SD card, flush through. I've got all the videos up. Not PS4, fuck off. All the videos on PC flush through. I'm done with video editing, period. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting that day when I'm completely finished with video editing, period. I'm, I'm, well, that day's gonna be fucking sweet. After that, bitch, I'm be, I'm thinking, getting new stock for business, flush through. Within one month, 20 sales. $1,000 a month, consistently. After that, I'm gonna save my money, invest in PC. It's gonna be sexy, bro. I'm gonna be getting like a Davinci Resolve, like what? Come on. All the editing software, man. No games. Fuck video games. I might install Warframe because I'm feeling cheeky. I wanna check in my inventory, but for the most part, no video games. Fuck that shit. I don't know how I feel about video games. Fuck. And yeah, that's gonna be it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a bunch of money. That's what, that's what I really want to do. Like, make a bunch of money. 10k a month, 20k a month, 50k a month. I say that like, without breaking a sweat, but like, it's a fucking huge milestone. And if I do make that money, I'll be very, very happy. And I'll probably tell my mom a few months in. I won't tell my mom instantly. I'll, I'll still have her as like, yeah, I'm a failure, I'm a failure, I'm a failure. And I'll, but I'll probably ramp her up with more jokes like, yeah, I'm a failure, I'm sorry, I'm a failure, I'm sorry. I'm a failure. Oh, yeah, I make 150,000 pounds a month. And she's gonna be like, what? Did he lie to me again? Cash. Boom. That's it. That's my plan. Catch you guys in the next video. Reading is not the way out. Don't read. Just read books. Take action. Have action as the basis. Uh, leave me the okay uh, Leave me uh, Ah, I got a spot here. Not good anymore. Not spot is Crazy. Catch you guys in the next video. Leave me the okay